This should scare you. This is a GMO strawberry and it's the size of my colossal metal ass. I don't know why everybody's out here being so hard on the strawberries or the GMOs for that matter. Like GMOs make it possible for like people not to starve. But strawberries, I think what's happening here is there's just a lack of knowledge. Uh, there are 600 varieties of strawberry out, you know, strawberrying in the world. And when you go to the supermarket or the store or wherever you're going, you're usually seeing like one, maybe two varieties of 10 that are popularly grown for consumption in, in mass. When you see one of those strawberries that's like ginormous, it's like the size of an apple, that is just a thing that happens sometimes. Could have been more favorable sun conditions, better soil that it was in, a slightly longer growing season. It, there's a million variables that go into what kind of fruit you get. You can also get bizarre things where instead of like two or three strawberries, you'll get them and they fuse into one giant one. So it'll be like this lobed monster. And that was actually supposed to be like three or four strawberries. But because biology is a little messy, that is not what you got. You got one really big one. That does not mean it is Frankenstein's monster and it certainly does not deserve any hate from internet gurus. So please don't fruit shame people and if you're at the supermarket and you you are able to buy fruit be thankful for that fact because there are a lot of people out there who cannot afford fresh fruit because it's freaking expensive and just accept the fact that we've been doing this to fruit for a long time everything that you eat has been selected to be more delicious be more visually appealing and occasionally yes we do do some genetic modification to them now overall that has been a really good thing but strawberries are not on your list for hate no gmo strawberries in the world okay you can you can rest safe tonight the strawberries are not out to get you